Hello, thanks for watching. Today I created this super easy spring um, makeup tutorial. I used basically all affordable products. A couple of them, I think one of them I, I used a high-end powder, but everything else I used drugstore and affordable things that are really easy to get. Um, and I created this look. To me, this is like an everyday look. If I'm going to wear makeup, I'm probably going to wear this amount or just no makeup at all. So I really love this look. I think it's super easy. I think everyone can do it. Uh, it's like minimal eyeshadow and just really pretty glowing skin. And it's super easy to do, super quick in the morning. You can get this done in 10, 15 minutes. Easy. Um, and you can also glam it up after with some false lashes. You can throw a wing liner on it. You can definitely make it into a more dramatic look, whether you like more dramatic or for a night out. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this look. And if you like it, please subscribe. So to prime, I'm going to use my Angel Veil Primer by NYX. And I haven't used this one before, so I can't tell you whether I like it or not. But I've heard really good things about it. So I applied just a little bit and I'm going to let that sink in and move on to my brows. And for my brows, I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I just start with hair-like strokes through the front of my brow and just continue that through the whole thing. And then comb it out with the spoolie. So I'm going to take some of Makeup Geek's Mocha and I'm just going to apply that just to define the brows a little bit more and give them a more soft look rather than filling them completely in with a pencil. Okay, now that the brows are on, we're going to move on to foundation. And for foundation, I'm just going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in O2 Natural. And I'm just going to apply. Now, this is really thick foundation, but I like it because the coverage is really good. I'm just going to take a flat brush, and I'm just going to start pressing it into my skin. I like to press this foundation in first and then buff. Okay, now we're going to move on to concealer, and I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in light, and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes in a triangle shape. And then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and blend it all out. Apply a little around my nose. And this is also going to act as a um, primer for the eyeshadow we're wearing. Now that everything is concealed, I'm just going to apply some Laura Mercier translucent powder. I know this isn't drugstore, but I just haven't found anything like it quite yet. And I'm just going to apply a heavy layer of that. I'm just going to take Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, and with a huge fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply that all over the crease. <clears throat> This is just going to make the next shade we put on blend easier. This is totally not necessary, but I think that it really does make the blending time faster. 
And since it's a spring look, we're just going to use the Anastasia Dusty Rose Shadow. This is going to, it's not going to look rose or pink on your eye, but it's just going to give a really pretty shadow for spring. And I'm just going to apply that right on the crease. And blend it in. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend it all in. I'm going to take this e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to take my Wet n Wild contouring palette that I just talked about and I'm going to use in Dolce de Leche, Dolce de Leche. I'm going to take the contour color and apply that as a bronzer. And then take a dual fiber brush and blend that all in. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of blush and I'm going to apply Spellbound by Makeup Geek. And it's a really pretty rosy pink color. And that should be good for both cheeks. Maybe a touch more. I'm going to take Elf's Pink Tastic and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones. Now I'm just going to blend that all out one more time. Apply some brow gel. This is the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. Pop some, pop some of those through. That'll take away any powder residue you've got on your brows. I'm just taking my Fiona Styles mascara and apply that to my top and bottom lashes. And for lips, I'm just going to apply my Milani's Nude Cream. I'm going to go right on top with NYX's Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie just to lighten it up. This is a really color pretty nude, but I like it's a little too pink for me, so I'm going to lighten it up. 